to my channel, The Baking Diva. Well, today I'm coming to you with a little Aldi haul. Um, I went to Aldi's on Friday night. Mm -hmm. I was out and about, and I was near there. So I thought, let me stop in and see what pumpkin products they have. And they didn't disappoint. Um, one of the things I bought was their cold brew, their cold brew pumpkin. It has a little creamer in it, but I put a little bit more half and half in it because I like mine light. This is one of my favorite products. It's their pumpkin spice whipped dairy topping. Oh, it's so good. I could be like the kids and just squirt it in my mouth, but I won't. I'll squirt a little on here just to show you. It's like a very light, light, light orange color. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Slightly, mmm. -hmm. Sweetened with a pumpkin flavor. Great on coffee or a dessert. I haven't tried this yet, but it's the pumpkin spice dessert hummus. So I'll let you know how that is. But for now, come along with me. I tried the best I could to film a few of the pumpkin products in the store. So stay tuned. I happened across the Oreo pumpkin spice cookies. Only $3.95 a package. And then there was the caramel apple creams. They look pretty good. And these salted caramel brownies. Mm-mm-mm. I think they were $1.99. And then there was the pumpkin spice cream cookies. And I love these. The pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels. I was tempted to buy these, but then I said, well, maybe next time I'll give them a try. But look at this, apple cider, pumpkin spice apple cider, $3.99. And they sure had a lot of coffee. This was caramel apple for your Keurig. Yep, that was uh, Arabica coffee. And here comes one of my favorites. They had the cold brew, a yeah, pumpkin spice one. Mm mm. I definitely bought one of those. And it was only five twenty-eight a bottle, and it's a big bottle. But this is my favorite: the pumpkin spice and maple vanilla whipped cream to put on that coffee. Mmm. And here's the Shobani Oat Coffee Creamer in Pumpkin Spice. Pumpkins, pumpkins were everywhere. And these were $3.99. And they had other flavors also. I think down below, yeah, there was another flavor. There. And plenty of coffee, maple pecan pie, and pumpkin spice. And I did come home with some of the pumpkin spice cream cheese for $2.29. They also had salted caramel. And if you like goat cheese, look at this. Cranberry cinnamon. And they had another one. I think it was blueberry vanilla. I thought that would be nice to put out if you're having a little get together for only $3.99. And then they had pumpkin maple bisque. Oh, that sounded interesting, right? And oh, tons and tons of pure pumpkin for a dollar fifteen a can. And then they had uh, the pumpkin pie mix for two dollars and change, and the Libby's uh, pure pumpkin for two sixty-two. And coming up, caramel corn in pumpkin spice. And these I loved, Belgian chocolate pumpkins. So pretty. Wouldn't they look nice on a dessert table mixed in with maybe your cookies? Um, I think they were just $3.99 a package. And then there was plenty of apple and pumpkin butter. And apple pies they had with cinnamon. They look pretty good for $5.89. And then they also had my favorite pumpkin pie, but I was uh, strong and I resisted. And then I spotted the 
Harvest Pumpkin Spice Soft Caramels. Oh, they looked good. And then better yet, they had the Cinnamon Cream Soft Caramels. I might go back to pick them up. And then, of course, for breakfast, we spotted the Pumpkin Spice Limited Edition Bagels. And then for your trick-or-treaters, 90 individual bags of different types of candy and they were $14.74 for the 90 bags and this one had 225 pieces in it and there was coffee scattered all about the store look at this one caramel apple pie for your Keurig and they had a lot of soy blend scented candles and oh, this caught my eye too. It was marbled cinnamon and maple streusel bread. Mmm. And then in their aisle, they had ceramic pumpkins and lots of fun Halloween signs. They were like an easel sign. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little Aldi haul. Uh, when she told me that in the center aisle is called their um, Aldi Deals, and it's non-food products. She said they all come in on Saturday, and the food items come in on Wednesday. So you can bet your bottom dollar, I will be going back to see what came in that I missed. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed this, hit the red subscribe and the little bell next to it, and you never know what I'm gonna bring to you next. So enjoy your week, and I'll see you soon. Love you. Toodles.